Howdy there, folks. This is my 2018 Wyoming antelope hunt. Got my tag in, and uh, it was me and a buddy applied for these two tags, and man, it was cold up there. Anyway, so I actually had an antelope tag. He had an antelope tag and a mule deer tag, so man, driving in and Beautiful country, man. Just absolutely gorgeous country. Coming in Wyoming. These are some pictures pictures on the way up. Saw some bison and just some beautiful rock formations. And The drive was lovely. 21 hours. But we finally made it there. So day number one, started glassing up some antelope. Man, there was antelope all over the units we were hunting in. So that's kind of the first group. Got some pictures. Here's the second group. Got a couple more pictures. And so this was actually an antelope I was set up to take a shot at. He was at around 250 yards. And had a small light snow. Don't know if you can see it in the video. But I ended up passing on him. He just didn't have the mass or the prongs. Later that same day, just miraculously got the camera up in time. My buddy Mitch just waylaid this mule deer. Nice mule deer, man. Hit him a little far back. Good shot, man. Dropping here. Sure, yeah, you hit him. We finished him off with another one. So that was day number one, mule deer awesome. down. That's it was really down. awesome. Really good to have that success in day number one. So there he is, my buddy Mitch. He has a 300 wind mag, room to 700 with a, a Vortex Razor Gen 1 on it. And we were just so happy. So meeting the bag, meeting the cooler. That was a fun pack out. Day two, bam, he shoots that antelope. It was awesome. So to get the ball rolling. And keep it rolling. Day number three, finally glassed up this antelope. And uh, he was pretty nice. I, I liked him. What you can't see probably in the video is he actually had ivory tips uh, showing through the sunlight, which is behind him. And so that is what my goal was, to find a nice buck with ivory tips. So here's the shot on my antelope. It's at 440 yards and just hit him right behind that front shoulder seam double lunged him just pulverized him with a, a christensen arms six five creedmoor and just drilled him he ran about 30 yards and piled up there was a lot of antelope up there man it was awesome so here's some pictures of his, his prongs he's real cool he was almost like he was shedding that layer of horns even though they don't do that but Cool, cool buck. He was real wide and, and beautiful. Got some couple extra pictures in here of him. It's a really awesome buck. That pack out was really nice because it was only like a 200 yard pack out. Got the old back straps from him. This is ivory tips that I really just fell in love with when as soon as I saw them. And so, what do you do after you tag out on all your animals? You go shooting. So that far hill, I was in that last picture, is the distance for shooting that hill to hill at 1,100 yards. We always wanted to do a milk jug challenge, so that's what we did. Set up the spot and scope, set up the rifles, and we started firing some shots. So there's a couple pictures, and there'll be another narrative from the actual video itself from that day. So... But we had the Christensen shooting 143 grain ELDXs out of a 24 inch barrel Hello, carbon folks. fiber. About to dial this is, seven. You know what? This is here dialing up to 10.7 mils. Actually, only took nine here. and a half. So the oh, original shoot. shot was just a touch the higher than, challenge. than uh, what it was calling for. Yards. It's just really different from. Video Shooting shortly. in Texas all the time to that high altitude, cold weather, low air density. We are fine. on top of a mountain, massive mountain. A little faster, so didn't need to dial as much. No. So that's what we're shooting at. We're we're trying far. to make it work. So this is a shot. It actually took me about 15 shots. The wind was horrible. Oh, oh. We had about... 20 mile an hour crosswinds gusting. So hit that, it was awesome. Next stop on the way back home, Colorado.
Big sky. So to finish off our trip, we just went boarding. Crank of the back. Snowboarding at uh, Wolf Creek Ski Resort. But man, when we got into that town, it's the coolest thing happened, man. We got a chance to feed the big old mule deer. and Dude. It was just so cool, man. All right, let's get this. Guy. Have an opportunity. Come on, buddy. Big old creature. Fed him right out of my hand, as you see here in a second. Oh my god. Look at the spread. Wish we could have found one of those while we were hunting. <laughs> Come on, Bobby. But that's it. Appreciate you watching the video. He got <laughs> Sticking with us. I dropped it all. Currently building a, a new rifle for next year's elk hunt. Hopefully get to go on to more videos to come. Appreciate y'all watching.